Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials, as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And today I'm making a bit of a dessert display for my friend for her engagement party. Now she didn't really give me an exact kind of direction to go with, so I'm just making things that are the easiest and quickest to make in large amounts. So firstly, I'm starting off with these cupcakes, and yes, I am making these cupcakes the day of the event. A lot of you guys asked me in the comments how far in advance you can actually make your cupcakes. I think cupcakes is one of those things that is best served, obviously, as fresh as possible, and I generally like to make them the day before. That being said, it is totally plausible to freeze cupcakes. Now the reason that I didn't do that is because I really, really have an issue sometimes with freezer burn occurring on my cupcakes. And the way that you avoid that is to double wrap your cupcakes, and sometimes that's just really, really tedious. So I rather make things fresh, that way I know that it's going to be moist and there's going to be no freezer burn whatsoever. However, if that's not a feasible option for you, double wrap your cupcakes, put them into some sort of Ziploc container and then into the freezer and you should be good to go. They can freeze for up to about three months, I would say, before I taste any really, really steep decline in quality. Now, I had an incredibly busy weekend, so I needed to make things that I already had pre-prepared and that would be easy for me. So something like cupcakes is easy. It can be done within an hour. I baked about 48 cupcakes, no problem. And then you can see there that I have some white chocolate that I'm stirring up and getting ready because I'm going to dip some cake pops, which I already made previously. And I also have these cakesicles as well. Now, unlike cupcakes, cake pops actually freeze really, really well, and I don't notice too much of a difference between quote unquote, fresh cake pops and frozen ones, mainly because even the fresh ones you do have to freeze or put in the refrigerator to firm up before you can actually dip them. So this is one of those things that I find really does not decline in quality when you put it in the freezer, which is great for me because I need something that is made in mass and is very expedient. So you can see I have a giant long piece of parchment paper here and I'm just dipping them and placing them. I'm doing things a little bit differently here than I normally would, and this is specifically for efficiency. I want to make sure that I get everything into the box. I'm not laying anything out onto my counter to take pictures with, because all of that movement that it takes to get that perfect picture in your kitchen is going to waste time. And I know I'm going to get probably better pictures on site since this is going to be an outdoor event and that natural lighting is going to be much, much better. I'm also placing my cupcakes in here uniced. This makes sure that I don't have to fiddle around with things. I don't have to ice it and then gingerly put it back into the box. I can just have everything in there and ready to go. Now I'm making my Italian meringue buttercream. The hard part is pretty much over because all of those cake pops have been dipped and drizzled and all I have to do left is ice the cupcakes. So this Italian meringue buttercream did actually sit out in a pretty warm temperature, about 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, and there was no issues at all. It really, really maintained its shape, which I was super happy with. I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't sure if it was going to remain outside, but it was in the shade. I'm just going with a really, really simple rosette with this. This is done with a classic 1M tip, and then a few of them are gonna have multiple rosettes. Now for these other cupcakes, I actually did wanna kind of make almost like a succulent look, just to add that little pop of green in there, because these are going to be interspersed among all of those white buttercream cupcakes. However, you'll notice that I do have to take this out of the Ziploc container and then gingerly place it back in. That container is actually not my number one choice, but I didn't have a box that could fit it. Another packaging tip is to make sure that everything fits really, really nice and tight together so you don't get shifting and movement as you're driving. And you'll notice I put everything in the trunk there. And here I am placing things on. This is part of the party setup that I used to offer, but of course, since this was for a friend, she had some different things here and there already placed. I just brought this big tower so I knew that I had room for all of my desserts. Now the other little trick that I have is making sure that I bring some sort of piping bag to fill in little gaps to add things here and there. I was going to add the leaves on when they were all in the box at home, but they would have started touching each other and kind of melding together. So this is great when I can deliver on site because I can make little changes here and there. They're just going to add that extra little bit of detail and clean things up in case anything got wrecked during transport. 
So I also had some macarons on this tower as well. I usually have a continual supply of macarons because I like to put them onto cakes or cupcakes and honestly they're one of my favorite things to eat. Next to cream puffs. So here we have our completed tower and not everything fit on this tower. We did put some other things on a separate little pop-up tower that my friend had and I did add some gold leaf as well just to give it that little extra bit of decadence. I gifted this entire dessert party set up to my friend for her engagement. However, when I was selling things like this, I would charge $75 Canadian for delivery and setup. That's also dependent upon location, of course. Cake pops would be $2.75 each with a minimum order of $24. Cakesicles, $5 each with a minimum order of $12. Macarons, $2 each with a minimum order of $40 for the same flavor. And these particular cupcakes would range in price from four to five dollars with a minimum order of 24. Now this particular setup had a lot more than just the minimums, so the grand total would be $507 Canadian. Now let's get into the subscriber submission of the day. Now this was sent to me on Instagram, but it was a private Instagram. However, I still want to highlight their talent. And this one comes from Shannon, beautiful buttercream work. And if you want to be the next subscriber submission of the day, then be sure to follow me on Instagram at SD Bake Shop, where you can either tag me or you can message me any of the photos that you would like shared on this channel. Any and all desserts and levels welcome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!